<laughs> what, uh, did you guys have full team meetings or just kind of position meetings and stuff? We had a team, special teams, and defense meeting, yeah. Is there, I mean, is this a time to sort of have an overarching message since you know, the first was kind of like a mini buy and a reset period? Is there, is there kind of an approach message right now? Uh, I think the the main message is just being really tight with our details, and I think um, we had some time to think and watch a little bit more of this film, and um, I think we just gotta keep emphasizing the importance of these details. And um, we got a great opponent opponent coming up, and I think as long as we start in practice and stay up on the, the details, it's it's gonna be huge. Is it normal, I guess, for us to be on week seven and still have that issue with details? You feel like? Um, no, not necessarily. I think that you're always trying to get better at something. You're always learning, uh, whether that's in meetings or on the field. I think no team is, is ever perfect. Um, you're, you're constantly trying to fight and get better day by day. And I think there's always going to be details that you can learn from, that you can get better from, and eventually try and eliminate them uh, when you go out and, and play. And I think that's always going to be um, a battle for every team, is trying to uh, see the things that, that hurt them and, and go out and get better at them and, and execute at the end of the day. Talk about details, but. No, talk about details, but. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Steve, how much was a, a break reset needed and how much tightening can be done over that short period of time? Yeah, I think uh, you get a you get a look in the mirror and you realize what's hurt, what's hurt us. And I think given this time, you can really get that reset and, and really dive deep into what has hurt us and um, I think that is, we got the time to think. Now it's just, let's get ready for Wednesday to go out and practice. What is hurting? Like, what are some of the things? Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you think have, have hurt the team? I think that um, minor techniques um, in coverage, in the run, I mean, there's so many little things, it's hard to explain. I just think that it starts with alignment, technique, in your eyes. And sometimes when one of those isn't right, then there's going to be a, something that's that's not going to end up well. And I think that it's hard to go into detail, but at the end of the day, if, if we're eyes are right, we're in the right alignment, and our technique base is right, then then we're going to have a good play. What was the impression of the defensive performance in this last game? <coughs> what was your takeaway from? I thought uh, the effort was there. I thought the. Um, we we had some great plays. We had some some great stops. I think the overall message is the past two games we haven't started fast, and that's hurt us. And we our ultimate goal is to take the ball away, to score, to get offense as many chances as possible. And when we're out there and off to a slow start, that's not helping them at all. Um, so I think that ultimately was was the biggest message there is start fast, start fast. And um, at the end of the day, you gotta go execute at the end of the game. Um, You've had a couple of weeks in a row where the opponent kind of got you guys off to a slow start and you had to rebound. What ways have the, the Texans and the, the Jaguars kind of attacked you guys to force those adjustments so late? Um, you're saying as far as right. what attacked us early? Yeah. Yeah, I think the, they put together a great game plan, um, forced us to be in some tough situations. It's hard to go into great detail because there's so many different things. Um, but they, they did they did a great job. At the end of the day, they're they're putting us in tough positions, and we got to go out and execute. And uh, we didn't in those. And I think that our coaches and players did a great job after those few drives of really getting together, um, eliminating what they had done well, and stopping that. And uh, but if, if it shouldn't get to that point, is kind of what I'm trying to say. What trends may they have shown? on the field, are the team showing you similarities as far as their approach to you? As, as far as? Uh, how they attack you. Like, is it, are they showing you similarities and trying to do the same kind of styles? Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a copycat, copycat lead. If somebody runs a great play against us, there's most likely going to be a same version of that uh, coming forward. So if somebody does well, then all of a sudden we're going to see it again. So I, I think there might be a little bit in that. And um, that's probably what, what was it. A lot of bigger requests this week. A lot. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I'm I'm getting so many messages from people that I haven't talked to since high school, <laughs> middle school. Um, how many field passes I'm going to get? So hopefully Justin can help me out on that one. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, but we'll see. I mean, there's going to be so many different people. It's going to be awesome there. Um, last time I 
I played in the stadium was with all the Big Ten championships that uh, Ohio State went to. So I got a great record in that stadium, and we're trying to keep it that way. Pete, I know it was probably a subtle difference, but you were the every down linebacker in this game since since Demario was limited. Mm -hmm. What you played the same role on every down where you were both on the field, and then just. A different role on those downs? Where yeah, pretty much the same role. Uh, it was pretty cool having the green dot, yeah. uh, getting to talk to all the guys and hearing them after the game. They said I did a great job. So um, they, it was pretty cool to given that uh, opportunity, the trust from the coaches. Um, but yeah, that was it was a pretty cool deal there. And um, just, uh, you know, just another game. You ask to do something, you just got to go do it. And I know you had. First sack, first interception this year. I mean, the, the adding those things to your game, the impact plays, especially in third downs and stuff. How do you feel like that's going for you? Yeah, I think um, it's 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 pretty cool to have an interception, a sack under your belt. But um, then again, it's that's just another way of getting off the field on third down. So um, we're just trying to build and and capitalize on on the things we've done well. And um, third down is definitely going to be high on the pedestal of importance. So we're just gonna, at the end of the day, just try and get off the field as much as possible. What's it like to play at home? Um, like, what, what's that experience like for you? I, I know it's the first time doing it in the NFL, but having done it in college. Before. Yeah, I know it's it's actually crazy. Growing up, having season tickets to the Colts games and and playing there in college, you would never. Th I never thought that I was going to be at this level playing in that stadium for actually what it's meant for as an NFL team. So it's going to be a lot to take in. Uh, it's going to be a mental game during the week, and especially on game time. But I just got to slow my mind down and, and go out and play like I know how to play at the end of the day. But it's going to be definitely very, very cool to, to see all the people I'm close with being there at the games and, and going out and just treating it like another game and go out and play. It's going to be cool. Did you get a chance to go against Jonathan Taylor College? I did, yes. I actually played against him twice. Once during the regular season at the Shoe, and then another time in the Big Ten Championship. Um, what's, what kind of stands out about him and this kind of Colts rushing offense between him and Zach Moss? And those guys yeah, they've, uh, they've done a great job. They're both physical, physical backs. They're hard to bring down, force a lot of missed tackles. They're very fast. Um, we'll have to have a great, great plan, um, and we've got to tackle at the end of the day. Pete, how would you describe the, say, demeanor um, of the team right now? I think from outside, it's easy to kind of point fingers and pinpoint, you know, speculate what the locker room might be like. But what is it like right now? Yeah, so um, it is easy to point fingers and, and try and say it's this and it's that. At the end of the day, you just you got to do your job and you got to do um, whatever is being asked of you, not trying to do anything more. Um, I think th that it's still a bunch of positivity. Uh, it's early in the season. We know what we're capable of. We know uh, what has gotten us beat. And we're, we're just trying to enhance the, the great things and eliminate the bad. So um, the, pos the positivity and the mindset is still there. Obviously, we just got to um, play better. We got to play better. It's as simple as that. Thanks, guys. Thank you.